In this video we're going to be speaking about why you should watch the Clone Wars animated series and not the Clone Wars Clone Wars animated series but the 2008 to 2020 Clone Wars animated series which has some great scenes, some of my favourite scenes in all of Star Wars and follows our main characters in the movies plus some other characters but also adds a lot of backstories to the clones who are pretty much the main characters of this show there's no one specific clone but we do follow this group of clones called Domino Squad who in the early seasons there's this rookie squad who are trying to become clones and they're just not good they don't work well as a team but eventually they have these mentors and there's one that doesn't believe in them there's one that does believe in them and eventually they're able to achieve the rank of actual clone troopers and they go on a mission but most of them die apart from two echo and fives and they become members of the 501st legion which is anakin skywalker's legion one of the main legions we see in clone wars and in the movies and in all the stores now they're sent back to kamino which is their home planet to protect it on this mission where they team up with rex and cody but they in well they win they're heartbroken when their sort of mentor and father figure character 99 who's a deformed clone is killed and 99's a really cool character and his scene his death scene is really sad it's a tear joking moment in this show which is actually meant to be a kid's show which is crazy but if you didn't you might have noticed but the bad batch who are known as clone force 99 that is a tribute to the member 99 and our two clones left echo and fives go on to become arc troopers which is a rank that they've been talking about for the entire series they finally achieve that which shows the progress that our characters make in this show so once our two main clones sort of reach arc trooper status they go on this mission and echo is left presumed dead so echo is basically gone out of the story for a long considerably really long amount of time so we can sort of we sort of gradually forget about him obviously we see more stories of rex and fives but fives is the only member of domino squad left now and he's sort of just got to cope with all this grief and it's weird that you have to remember this every time you're watching an episode he's in that he's lost so many people in his life already and that's sort of the life of a soldier and it just adds lots of nice emotional scenes to the series now Fives is a key member of the Firefox Legion along with Rex and some of the other clones like Top, Hardcase and Kix and we can see all of these named characters sort of forming a bond like a family they all are friends and they go on missions they all work together they all stick up for each other they all try to save each other's lives but on a mission on the planet Umbara Fives sees his brothers getting practically bullied and sent to death by this general Jedi general called Pong Krell now Fives leads a rebellion against Pong Krell and is successful in a couple of missions but Krell eventually court martials him but just before him and Jesse are able to escape and we get to see Fives here why he has success on that mission it won't last as literally a few months later his new best friend in the clone, in the clone ranks Top falls ill and he has to accompany Top to back to Kamino and him, Top and Rex go back to Kamino and while Top dies and then Fives discovers the Order 66 plot which is one of the biggest parts of all of Star Wars this guy has simply found out and discovered all of it just by doing some simple digging Palpatine orders Commander Fox to track him down and shoot him and by the time Rex and General Skywalker get there they're heartbroken as they see Fox shoots Fives dead instantly now in season 7 of the Clone Wars we find out that Echo is actually alive it's a bit of a plot twist and then we get to see Echo join the Bad Batch in the new animated series so he's he's still around and kicking about in case you're wondering another character that we see is a new character called ahsoka who's a jedi padawan who trains under general skywalker in the clone wars animated series we get to see in the clone wars movie how they get off to a rough start but they eventually bond together then the series this story is picked up as we see ahsoka forming close ties with characters like rex obi-wan anakin padme and our other main characters and we see her uh, go on missions with these main characters she's then forced to leave the jedi order and we didn't see her again until the final season which aired recently we see her taking down maul in a fight and her order 66 escape and all of that stuff which 
It's a great scene. And then her story is continued in the Ahsoka novel, which, while many of it is not canon anymore, it's still worth a read, in case you're wondering. Then after the novel, her story is continued further in the Rebels animated series, which is the successor to Clone Wars, which, in my opinion, isn't as good, but still. Then we see her in the Mandalorian Season 2, again another appearance, and very recently, like a couple days ago, we saw her in the Book of Boba Fett, Episode 6. So, she's been around, and she's even getting her own live-action show, so definitely a character to look, to look out for. Now, our other main clone character is Captain Rex, who, him and Commander Cody are sort of the stars of the show, while Echo, Fives, and the other members of Dominus Squad are there, we can see Echo. Rex's progressive journey from a clone commander who follows the rules to more of a rebellious commander and we even see him in the Bad Batch animated series so again a character to look out for as it's heavily rumoured that he will be making a live action appearance soon. Now movie characters such as Obi-Wan Kenobi also have stories and if you thought Obi-Wan Kenobi was already cool then you're going to love the Clone Wars as he gets loads of really cool scenes and fight scenes and we also get to see his sort of situation with his former love interest um who is the leader of mandalore and then we get to see his interactions with maul who kills um his love interest and when he comes back and let's just take a minute to talk about maul because maul is one of my favorite characters in all of star wars and in the clone wars he's like at his best he's basically taking on anyone and everyone and succeeding and he's basically indestructible and he feels invincible but you see the losses that he takes and it makes him feel more human and more relatable and in the show Maul gets a brother called Savage Opress who's just a normal Zabrakian knight brother but he is chosen to become a powerful Sith Lord and basically transformed from this weak puny being that we see into this born and bred warrior and we see him and Maul fight together until Palpatine sadly kills the yellow-skinned Zabrakian and ending his life. But he is turned into this amazing warrior by this character called Mother Talzin, who is a night sister who uses magic to transform him, give him force abilities. And she is a character to look out for as she features in the comics. And she takes responsibility for Maul Savage. And she even takes responsibility for Ventress, who's another character who's in this series. And her relationship with Maul Ventress and Savage is explored in this show. Now, Ventress is another character that we get to see more. We get to see her time as a Sith, sort of assassin, and how she becomes a bounty hunter, works with Boba Fett. And she even gets her own novel, which is another novel which you'd read, which is a Clone Wars arc that was cancelled, adapted into a novel, which is going to be an eight-story sort of thriller, eight-episode story thriller, but it was then cancelled, but became this amazing novel that you should definitely go and read, called Dark Disciple. Now, Grievous is another character from the movies who is in the Clone Wars, and we can see Grievous going around hunting Jedi, which is sort of the image that we were given in Revenge of the Sith, and we get to see this fully-fledged Jedi, born and bred killer, Jedi killer, who just goes around slaughtering Jedi, and in the early seasons we get to see him pretty much every episode, he's the villain, he's taking out Jedi, he's doing this, that and the other, he's General Grievous, and we get to see his interactions with Count Dooku and Ventress, and things like that. Another sort of villain is the Mandalorian Pre Vizsla, who is um, a Mandalorian character who has a lot of Mandalorian culture, which we wouldn't have today. So you can think Vizsla's inclusion for things like the Darksaber and other of your favourite Mandalorian things. As before, Vizsla, Mandalorians weren't really that well known about, whereas he had a lot of backstory. Then you've got your Bounty Hunters. Now, my favourite Bounty Hunter is Embo, and he is a character originated in the Clone Wars and he doesn't feature in many episodes but he's a really cool character and my second favourite bounty hunter is Cad Bane who features in a ton of episodes he even features in the Bad Batch and more recently in the Book of Oba Fett so he's a character to definitely look out for as he is one of the main characters in this series sort of a middle ground villain who works for pretty much anyone and anyone anyone and everyone who can pay him he's a blue skin Juros and another sort of non-villain that we see is Hondo who is a pirate who betrays the Jedi but then works with Kenobi again 
and it's just sort of a com- comic relief character, but also a cool inclusion who has appeared at the Galaxy's Edge attractions in America, and also is in the Star Wars Rebels animated series. So this Clone Wars show it connects to all of Star Wars, and I think that is one of my favorite things about it. There's not an inch of Star Wars that Clone Wars doesn't have a connection to. That's why I should definitely go watch all seven seasons of it. And if you're new to this channel, then I recommend you subscribe. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers as soon as possible. And that's all for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.